What's up guys, Johnny May here and welcome to this week's quick tip where you're gonna learn the melody heart and soul and we're gonna do it in a swing style. I'm gonna teach you how to walk this super simple little bass line. We're gonna talk about how to harmonize the melody and this is playable for any playing level. So I'm gonna teach you kind of a beginner approach and then I'm gonna teach you a few things that you can add to it. So let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, so I'm really excited to teach this to you. It's a super easy little melody and anytime you guys wanna play swing music, uh, the swing style really comes from the bass, right? The walking bass. So that's gonna be where we're gonna start today. I'm gonna teach you this bass line. Like I said earlier, this is playable for all playing levels. So I'm gonna start off with kind of an easy approach but I'm also gonna teach you or show you just a couple ways you can add to it. Okay, so the, th the four chords that we're gonna be playing in this tune are F major seven, uh, D minor seven, uh, G seven, G minor seven, and then a C7, okay? If this is over your head and you're a total beginner, don't worry, I just want to sort of teach or explain what the chords are, but the walking bass line basically comes from these chords, right? Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start on the low F, and by the way, this little red dot here is middle C. Then we're gonna go a whole step down E flat to D, okay? So we're using this upper neighbor, it's called an upper neighbor to the D, right? And then we're gonna go to that G chord using the A flat, that's the two finger on A flat, thumb on G, okay? And then getting to the C, we're gonna use the upper neighbor to C, which is D flat, and then pinky on the C, okay? And then to end it, G flat with the two finger, okay? So once more, guys, you can start on the third finger here. Actually, I'd start on the thumb because that's um, the finger that we're gonna land on when we repeat the progression. So I'd go thumb, ring finger E flat, five finger on the D, two finger on the A flat, thumb on the G, ring on the D flat, and pinky on the C. Okay, that's your basic walking bass line. Okay, so you wanna practice this. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Okay, all right, and if you wanna take this bass line up just a little bit, let me quickly show you how to swing the left hand bass line. So you can do a little pattern like this. Okay, see what I'm doing? So I'm taking F, E flat, F, D. You guys see that? Just a little swung eighth note in there. And then I go A flat, G. So I'm basically coming back up to my G, right? G, D flat, G, C. Okay, and that's a kind of a little more advanced way of playing the bass line. Here's the swung bass line if you want to do it on the more advanced side. F. Okay, and that's a super cool bass line. By the way, guys, if you wanna learn more of these left hand patterns, we actually have a workshop going on this month at pianowithjohnny.com where we look at this tune and I teach you how to play it in a swing style, but not just this with the walking bass line, but I teach you four different left hand approaches. I teach you a walking bass pattern, I teach you what's called a four on the floor pattern, a stride pattern, and then a Latin pattern. So we really get into detail on this particular song. You guys can be part of that. Uh, the event this month is on October 13th. It's a Saturday, it's a live lesson. You can ask me questions during the lesson. So check that out, it's available to our members at pianowithjohnny.com. I'll put a link below to that, but it all relates to what we're talking about today for this lesson. So guys, that is the walking bass left hand. It's a super cool pattern. You've got two ways of doing it, but this is gonna sort of roll through the song, okay? You're gonna play that the whole time. All right, let's talk about the right hand, how to take that simple melody and make it a little more jazzy. So what I'm doing here, guys, I'm hitting like a little F, what's called an F6 chord, A, C, D, and uh, F, okay, F6. And basically, we're gonna do this three times, like that, okay? From here, we're gonna just play the melody as written. That's gonna be F, E, D, E, F, G, right? And then we hop up to our next position. This is an F6 chord, C, D, F, and A, okay? One, two, three. We're gonna make this a D7 chord just to make it a little more jazzy sounding. C, E, F sharp, and A. Just give it a little more, a little, a little more color, okay, uh, than the previous time. Okay, so that's gonna be the next chord. Then we're gonna play the melody. Ba -da -ba -da -da -da. That's A, G, F, G, A, B flat, okay? 
and moving right along. By the way, we have the lesson sheet up here on the top left of the screen. This is actually uh, downloadable for our members at Piano with Johnny. Um, also, our members can uh, change the key with smart sheet music. You literally just click one button and it takes the whole tune and it puts it in any key you want. Uh, you can slow the sheet music down, you can loop sections. It is very, very powerful. Uh, and we have a ton of smart sheet music. So if you're a member at Piano with Johnny, you can check that out. It's really, really useful. Okay, after we play that melody, ba -da -ba -da -da -da, we're gonna go to a very colorful F, a major seven chord, E, G, A, and C. Okay, then the D minor, we can add a little harmony note to this. This is just the seventh of the chord, the C, okay? And then we're gonna play that melody up top. Ba -da -da -da. That's D, C, B flat, A. Okay, and then we're gonna do a little roll, okay? We're gonna strike that G and roll off the A flat. Okay, G, A flat, G, F. Okay, and the rhythm is like that. One and two and three, four, one. Okay, and that just lines up there. Okay, in the sheet music, I wrote an A. You can roll off the A, make it a little more happy sound, right? You guys see the A there or the A flat. Okay, from here, we just play the single note melody. That's G, A, B flat, C, B flat, A, G. Okay? So guys, that's the whole melody. Let's walk through the whole thing now once more. We're gonna go a little faster. So we've got an F6, three times. And we've got the melody on the F, use the third finger. Now an F6 on this position, three times. We go to a D7 here, okay? By the way, you can slide the E flat, or the E from the E flat. Okay, it's super cool sound. I did it when I uh, started the video for you guys. Very, very cool little thing you can do. A, G, F, G, A, B flat. Colorful F uh, major seven chord. Uh, harmonizing the F with the C. B, C, or it's D, C, B flat, A. And the little roll, okay, to the D chord. It'll walk up G, A, B flat, C, B flat, A, G. Okay, let's go ahead and play it now at tempo. You guys are doing a great job here, and let's go ahead and play it. Okay, here it is. One, and two, and three, and four, and 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 one, and two, one and two and three and four one and two and three and four and one and two and three okay that's your basic melody let's put the hands together now okay so this comes together one and two and three and four and one and two is together and three and four is together one and two and three and four and one and two is together and three and four next measure one and two and three is together four and one and two is together and three and four and that's in the crack one and two Four is together, and one, and two is together, and three, four. Okay, you guys get that? All right, that's how it goes. Let's go uh, medium slow. We'll keep it moving this time. Here it is. A one, two, here we go. Okay, and then you can add some things if you're more on the advanced side, right? Like that, right? Da, 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 da. Right? A little slide there. Four, one, two. Okay, 
you can add those little swung eighth notes. All right, let's do it once, full tempo. This is the final tempo, and here it goes, guys. I'll count you off. A one, two, three, four. All right, guys, this concludes the quick tip. Did you enjoy this lesson? If you did, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. Now, if you guys enjoyed this, we're doing a live workshop this month on October 13th in the Piano with Johnny membership. This is a live lesson for our members where we're gonna dive way deeper into this topic and we do two portions of the lesson. We do a beginner portion where it's you know, for complete beginner students and kind of late beginner students where we really dive into this melody. I teach you four different approaches to it. We talk about three uh, swing approaches, that walking bass line, the stride left hand, a four on the floor approach, and then we actually talk about how to do it in a Latin style. So we take kind of a deep dive into the topic, and of course during the lessons you can ask me questions, and then we do an intermediate advanced approach where I teach you some really, really cool ways of playing it. So if you guys want to attend that live event. It is, on, it is on October 13th this month. You can check it out in the Piano with Johnny membership. I'll put a link below to that. And if you enjoyed this lesson on swing music, check out our other lessons at Piano with Johnny. We currently have over 300 piano lessons in jazz, blues, boogie, funk, improvisation, theory, technique, fundamentals. Guys, we have the full learning platform and we have lessons for all playing levels, beginner, intermediate, and advanced piano players. Also, be sure to check out the Piano with Johnny membership. This gives you access to all of our video courses, over 150 sheets. Uh, we do live events every month. We do the Q&A where you can ask me your practice questions. We do the live workshop every month. We do weekly challenges for our members and we have a ton of fun. So go check out the Piano with Johnny membership and thanks for watching.